Hey everybody, this week Astronomer's DevRel team is continuing to cover the features that we are most excited about in the Airflow 3.0 release. Today, we're covering the refreshed UI. It's now React-based, more intuitive, and of course, it looks so much better than it used to. There's more to the new UI than we can cover in a short video, but to give you a quick overview, you start here at the home page, giving you an overview of all that is going on inside of your Airflow environment, and quick links to a list of failed, running, and active DAGs. On the improved DAGs overview page, you can list and clear recent DAG tasks, and even search for DAGs using the command K shortcut. Looks like the last run of this DAG has failed, and we'll know why in just one click. Way faster than it was in Airflow 2. The DAG details page now lists recent error logs right there in the page, and lets you know exactly what happened so that you can clear the offending task for right there. You can also select a DAG run and use the graph to see exactly what failed. That way you can more quickly troubleshoot your environment. And perhaps the most exciting update, at least for me, is that we now support dark mode natively. This new UI will definitely make your everyday work with Airflow more efficient. And we're excited for you to try it out. One thing to keep in mind as you migrate is that if you have custom plugins for Airflow 2, they may need to be updated to work with the new UI. If you're not already running Airflow 3 and want to get started, a free trial of Astro is the great way to do that.